Hi everyone, Robert again here, or I'm so WRXE here to do another phone review on yet another Boost Mobile phone, which is another Sprint phone that just happened to make its way to Boost Mobile. This is actually the Motorola Expert right here. The Motorola Expert, which is actually a pretty surprising phone, to be honest with you. It almost looks like the Samsung that Boost Mobile came out with, uh, where it has the QWERTY keyboard right on the bottom, and you got the touchscreen interface right on the top. It is actually a pretty darn good phone, though. This is a little bit bigger screen than that of the Samsung. This one has a 3.1-inch screen, LCD screen on it, with the QWERTY keyboard at the bottom. It is running a 1 gigahertz processor, which is actually pretty uh, outstanding, to be honest with you, on such an inexpensive phone. This phone runs you 100 bucks on Boost Mobile, which is actually pretty good. Uh, as you can see on the top of mine, it does still say Sprint on it, which is actually a mistake by a lot of the manufacturers when they have phones come over to Boost Mobile, is they forget to send them out with the uh, no print on it or Boost Mobile uh, printed on it as well. This is running Android 2.3 Gingerbread. Actually runs pretty good. It is very customizable to what somebody from Boost Mobile may want to do with this phone, uh, which is pretty darn good. Again, 1 gigahertz processor on it. It is running 2 gigabits of internal memory, plus it comes with a 2 gigabit micro SD card, and it does have a SIM card slot to it. I know my last video, my first video that I did, a lot of people asked if it had a SIM card slot on the uh, Evo Design 4G, if it had an SD card slot. Uh, I'm trying to cover all those bases, trying to learn from the videos that I've done. Uh, but this phone is actually pretty darn good. Let's see, pretty darn good, pretty re reliable phone. It is not yet activated, uh, to be honest with you. But just to give you an idea of the user interface on here. It is actually pretty darn responsive when you go home. As you can see, everything moves very, very fluently. Uh, there was a very similar phone to this on Verizon Wireless as well, uh, called the Droid Pro. Uh, very, very similar phone, offered the same specs to it. But to kind of give you a physical aspect here, uh, you do have your menu keys and your back key and whatnot right here, all touch. They're not button like the Samsung uh, was. Got your full QWERTY keyboard here at the bottom. On the side of the unit, on this side, you have your rocker panel right here, or your volume buttons, your micro USB uh, connection right here, which is also your charger that comes with it. On the top of the phone, you have your 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and your power on and off button as well on this side. Uh, one thing that I do like about this phone is on the opposite side here, you do have a camera button uh, to work which is pretty nice uh, to have that little camera button. And of course on the bottom there's pretty much nothing. It does have that nice chrome band finish on it, which I do really, really like that. Uh, I do really like that very, very much, to be honest with you. It looks very nice. On the back you have a nice, soft uh, touch Motorola back panel which covers the battery. And you have a 5 megapixel camera with LED flash, which is actually pretty good. Again, for a phone that's 100 bucks, very inexpensive on Boost Mobile. Uh, this is definitely a very, very good unit to go with as well. Um, again, I haven't activated this phone yet. Uh, it does run on the 3G service, the EVDO 3G. It is a CDMA phone. However, it does have global capabilities, so it is also a GSM uh, HSPA, not an HSPA Plus, so it's not a 4G phone, but it is an HSPA phone. Uh, if you do want to take it overseas, you just need to get the SIM card for uh, Sprint's global network. Um, and really, that's all you got to do with one of these to do that. Uh, so it does have some nice features to it as well. Uh, it does have Bluetooth on it. Uh, it is Bluetooth version 2, it's not version 3, or Bluetooth 3.0, like what you have with the uh, Evo Design 4G, obviously it's a $300 phone, so you're going to have some newer stuff on it. Uh, some of the other stuff, it does have some, uh, very, very good Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi 802.11BGN as well. It does have the 3G mobile hotspot capability to it as well. Uh, again, micro USB connection. Um, does have, 
a light responsive display. I'm going through some of the stuff that I actually wrote down as far as notes. The flash is a dual LED flash, by the way, for that little guy on the back. It is a dual LED flash. Uh, also, got your Google Play or Android market for some of the old school users out there. Um, again, for a home, phone that's 100 bucks, you can't complain about this. This does fall under the $55 a month uh, Android shrinkage plan on Boost Mobile. Again, this one does say Sprint on it, and I do apologize for people that might get a little confused. It is a Boost Mobile phone. When you actually fire this thing up, I'm going to shut this down, so it may take a second. But when you fire this thing up, it does actually have the Boost Mobile software on it. It will activate for Boost Mobile's prepaid service on here. And the battery life, by the way, I've been told is actually really good. This does have a 19, it's an over 1900 milliamp battery to it, which is actually pretty awesome. Actually, it's 1860 milliamp battery, which is actually better than the Evo Design 4G, which only has a 1520 milliamp an hour battery. So this one will actually last a little bit longer on its battery life than the Evo Design 4G, but if you're looking to have something that's probably the better performance phone, having 4G, all that kind of stuff, definitely the Evo Design is something you'd want to go with if you want the very best. Right now it's searching for services. Again, phone hasn't been activated yet, so of course it's trying to activate itself right now as you're looking at it. Um, but overall, this phone actually is very, very responsive. Again, 1 gigahertz processor. If you're looking at the Samsung Prevail, uh, the Galaxy Prevail, that's on Boost Mobile, which is actually about 30 bucks more, it only has an 800 megahertz processor. This is 1 gigahertz processor. Uh, to be completely specific with it, let me read this off because I have no idea. I've never heard of this processor before. It's a 1 gigahertz TIO map. OMAP map. Um, so that's the type of processor that's in it. It's not a Snapdragon. It's not a Hummingbird processor. It's something that Motorola only uses. So it's kind of a little different than what you, you have with some of the other stuff. It will support, by the way, a 32 gigabit micro SD card. So you will be able to do, you know, 32 gigabits of music, movies, whatever you want to do with it. And this does run on Sprint's network. Again, running that, it's Boost Mobile. And let's see, we're going to cancel that so I can get back to my main screen. As you can see, it's got the Boost Mobile logo right there. So it is a Boost Mobile phone um, from the factory. Uh, I just got this in today, so I wanted to show you guys uh, firsthand what this thing is about. Um, I know it's probably been out for a little while on the market, and I know there was big hype over the Evo Design 4G. I was excited actually to get this phone because it's so cheap. Because it's one of those phones where if you want a good quality Android phone and you're not willing to pay the $300 for your uh, Evo Design 4G, I think this is an excellent phone to go with. So again, another one of those phones that I think you're going to do, you're going to be very, very happy with, especially if you're uh, just starting to use Androids. This is a great phone. That way you got the physical QWERTY keyboard. You will have some problems playing some games like uh, Draw Something on Facebook. Uh, which is also an app on here, Draw Something. You will have problems with that because it's not compatible uh, with this particular phone because of that QWERTY keyboard on it. Uh, so that is something that you will run into. But again, it is running Android 2.3 Gingerbread. It does fall under the $55 a month shrink shrinkage program, fully unlimited with Boost Mobile, running on Sprint's, uh, Sprint's network, nationwide network, unlimited call, text, web, data, everything. Uh, that you could ask for under the sun right here uh, for a hundred bucks you can't beat this uh, again boost mobile motorola expert right here xp rt all right so again leave some comments questions whatever you have below uh, i've been really good about making sure that i answer everybody's questions or try to at least answer everybody's questions uh, again if you have any questions or concerns or uh, anything like that on this particular product. All of my information that I got is from Motorola's website. You can go to Motorola.com, search expert, XPRT. Uh, that will give you all of the detailed specs on this particular phone. 
Uh, if you do have any further questions about any services or anything like that with Boost Mobile, uh, you can definitely hit me up. Uh, I will give you my honest opinion. I'm not a uh, paid advertiser for Boost Mobile. I just kind of prefer them because they offer a great deal with that shrinkage program to go down to 40 bucks a month, but I'm not particularly against Verizon, AT&T, T-Mobile, Sprint, whoever, uh, but these are just what I've been working with. I am working on a few new phones, by the way. Uh, one of them will be a Sprint contract phone. I'm going to be working on that here in a little bit, uh, and I believe I should be working on a Verizon phone as well. So, I hope this answers a few questions for you guys. Again, this is the Motorola expert on Boost Mobile. If you have any questions, concerns, or comments, leave them in the section below. I'm not stealing that from Way Will and Johnson, but if you have any questions or concerns, just leave them down below. Peace.